Okay, in this video we're just going to have a look at how we can import GA4 events into Google Ads as conversion goals. So having the conversion set up correctly is one of the most important parts of a Google Ads campaign and that's what makes sure that clicks are being paid for effectively and that the campaign is running smoothly. So to get started, I'm just in my analytics account for my website and I've got my um, Google Ads account here as well. And I'll just run you through it from kind of start to finish. So we're in the Google Analytics account and the first thing you're gonna to want to do is come into the admin section, bottom left, and you need to make sure that your Google Ads account is linked to your Google Analytics account. So you can see up here, I've done that. And if you haven't done it, what you can do is click on link and essentially the two accounts you'll need to have ownership to them admin ownership through the same email account so the same email account you've got google analytics 4 under you'll also need access to google ads under um, you can do that by obviously sort of sharing it with the right email address or getting the owner to share it with the correct email addresses and then from there you can just come in and link it and then it will just be a linked google ads property in here and that is something you, you will definitely need. So make sure that's done first. And then next up, we can kind of come into Google Ads and to look at our goals and conversions, we need to go into goals under the side and we come into here and we can do create conversion action just under the goals and summary page in Google Ads. And then you can see it kind of presents us with four options here. And the option that we want is the import option. And you can see it says import data from Google Analytics and other sources. So when we click on that, we get this drop down bit and we've got um, Google Analytics for properties, um, Google Analytics UA, which is universal analytics, the old one, which is now deprecated. So it's, it, we're not going to be using that. And we don't need a third party or CRM. We need um, the Google Analytics 4 property and we want web because we're not using Firebase. This is just a standard website in this instance. And then we'll hit continue. And then you can see here it presents us with this option to import all of these. And what you might find is you might find that some of the events that you've created, let's say they're custom events. If we come back into uh, Google Analytics and then we go into admin scroll down a bit and we'll go to events and what you might find is that you've got some options in here that are um, custom ones that you've added some events uh, first thing you'll need to wait 24 hours for generally for them to show in the events tab before then it's unlikely to work so just be patient wait for those and then once that's happened and you've got them available in this events tab what you're going to need to make sure you do is you need to make sure that you've marked them as a key event so when you when this loads in okay that wasn't good let's refresh that here we go you can see here this is my list of events i've got 11 down here and uh, the one i would like for example, let's say we've got the email link clicks. Um, anyway, custom events and things, we talked about them in a different video. I'll link to that, you know, you can check that out. So we did things like these custom links, uh, custom email clicks and things. And you can see that that's not marked as a key event and it's not actually pulled through into here. There is two pages, but it's not on the second page. It's not that one. So you can see it's not available to me, but all I need to do is click that as a key event and then if I come back into the ads again refresh the page and then you can see here it's right at the top email clicks and it's got the uh, the day uh, the date created is today which isn't actually true but that's when it pulled it through so um, yeah we've got our email clicks there so then the ones you want you know you can do them in bulk you can have as many as you like but in this instance let's say it's just one we, we couldn't find and then you can hit import and continue and then from there you're free to um, add them to your um, to your sort of campaigns and uh, you know different ad groups and things any way you want them so you can see there it's imported from there we hit done and then we should see here we've got our imported action email link clicks 
no recent conversions yet, but you know, it would take time for those to build and it sits inside the, the contact part here. And like I say, you can add that onto any campaigns and things that you want to, if that's like an additional, say like a lead conversion you want to track or something like that. And that's it really, that's, you know, that's the way that you can get them all in. One thing to bear in mind, um, I would keep an eye on your events in Google Analytics because if they don't work, your Google Ads conversions don't work and obviously that's going to massively impact on your kind of like the way your ads are delivered and kind of the, the quality of them. And the next thing, <laughs> once you've marked something as a key event, I wouldn't unmark it as a key event because that can cause issues, you know, between the platform. So, you know, once you've done it and you're using it, just, just kind of keep that as it is. Don't don't kind of uncheck that. And then that's it really. You kind of, um, you've got everything all set up and you're ready to go. And, you know, if you want to make more custom events, you can import more in. So if you've got any questions, uh, just let me know in the comments. If you found the video helpful, please give it a like. If you want to see more content like this, then uh, please subscribe.